OK. Um, if you guys remember, the main important thing when we're the main important thing when simplifying is using our identity element. And if you guys remember, the identity element basically states when you have n, or the nth root of a to the nth power, that equals a. Okay, that was our that was like our main important thing when we talked about simplifying. Main important thing. So all we want to do is we basically want to be able to say, can we rewrite? Can we rewrite this? As instead of this expression, can we rewrite this as um, exponents, where a is your base and n is the same power as your index, which in this case is three. All right. So you know I wrote these up there and I am going to be um, erasing them pretty soon because they're taking up space. But I gave you guys a list of you know possible cubed, quartic, and square numbers that you guys should be recognized. So two sixteen, as we go ahead and take a look at it is, yes, that is going to be a cube number. That is the cube root of, uh, I'm sorry, 6 cubed. So I could say the cube root of 6 cubed. And if you guys plugged in your calculator, you'd see that 6 cubed is 216. Then I can rewrite x to the fourth. Um, remember the rules of exponents? x cubed times x to the first is equal to x to the 3 plus 1, which equals x to the fourth. Would everybody agree with that math right there? OK. So I can rewrite this as x cubed times x to the first power, if you want to, and then times y cubed. Does everybody see that? Now, let's go back through our identity element. Remember the identity element. Whenever I have an exponent raised to the same power as the index, it just equals my base. So Joseph, I have 6 cubed. I'm taking the cube root of that. So therefore, that just equals 6, right? The cube root of x cubed is just x. I can't take the cube root of x to the first. Those are not the same, so I'm going to leave that under the radical. And the cube root of y cubed is just going to be y. Therefore, the only thing left under is going to be the cube root of x to the first power, which I can just write as x. Anybody have any questions? No questions. OK. Yes.